Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to understand about the until activity in Azure Data Factory. First we will try to understand the use case of the until activity and with the practical example we will try to see how actually we can use a, a until activity in Azure Data Factory. So let us start with that. Until activity it provides the same functionality that do while loop provide in a programming language. So if you are from a programming language you might be aware about the do while loop right so it works similar to that only. It execute a set of activity in a loop until the condition associated with the activity evolves to the true. Let's take an example. Let's understand. So by the name itself, you can understand until means my pipeline will keep on executing. My pipeline will keep on executing until the condition satisfied to a true. If my condition satisfied to a true, then my pipeline will get stopped. If it is a false. So till it is becoming a true, my pipeline will keep on running. So until the conditions satisfied to a true, my pipeline will keep on running. So that is the meaning of the until activity. Let's take an example. Suppose I have a storage account. In this storage account, the my requirement is like I have to check whether the particular file is available into this particular storage account or not. So what I will do with the help of the until activity, I will try to put one condition which will check whether the particular file is available into the storage account or not. If my condition, I will give one condition. It The condition will be like whether the particular file is available into the storage account or, or, account or not. So if it is a false, means my if the file is not available in a storage account, my pipeline will keep on executing. If it is become true, then the execution will stop. Means until my condition is not becoming true, my pipeline will keep on running. So that is the use case of the until activity. So what we are going to do in a practical, we are going to do a practical similar way. In a storage account, I will check whether the particular file is available into this particular account or not. So I will use until activity for that and my pipeline will keep on running until the particular condition is satisfied or not. So that is the use case. So let's do a practical and let's understand. So let's do a practical and let's try to understand. So I have created one storage account. In this storage account, if I show you, I have created one container. As of now, no file is available here. So what actually I want to do? I'll see. Let's see how actually we can use the until activity. So I'll click on the create pipeline. Go into the iteration and conditional. You will see a until activity. Just drag it. Now what this until activity do? You can see bottom we have a general setting activity user property. Go to the setting this expression here we have to pass an expression and this expression until it will become a true this particular whatever the activity you will mention under this until activity right it will keep on executing until this expression become true whatever the activity you will mention under this until activity it will keep on executing so that is the use of the until activity so you may have a question like how much how much time it will keep on running so we have option of the timeout. Suppose you want to check only for the two minutes, so you can mention the two minutes. So only for the two minutes, it will keep on checking like whether the particular file is exist or not. Suppose for 30 minutes, you want to check like the, whether the particular file is exist into the storage account or not. And if it is exist, then only you want to perform a copy data. So what you will mention, you will mention a 30 minutes here in the timeout and you will pass a expression to check whether the file is exist onto the particular container or not. So that is the thing we are going to do. What actually I will do as of now I will create one variable name. So go into the click outside, click on the variable, click on the new. I'll create one variable name as a file exist. And the by default I will pass the value as a file false. So it is saying like the by default the file is not exist. I'll go to the until and this particular variable whatever we have created we will pass here. Click on the variable file exist. And let's convert this uh, string to the boolean. So I'll use a boolean and I'll just click on the OK. So by default, this variable value is a false. So this will return me a false value, means the file is not exist. So until this value become true, my activity will keep on executing till for the two minutes because I have mentioned the two minutes. So how to check like whether the file is exist into the storage account or not? So for that, what we can use, we can use a uh, get metadata activity. So I'll use a get metadata. Click on the get metadata. Go to the setting. We'll create one data set. My file is available into the blob storage. 
csv file i'll cre i'll use a one link service which i already created if you haven't created you can create a link service and the file path you can pass input container click on the okay click on the okay so this is the data set we have created uh, and by default let's see whether the employee1.csv file is available onto this particular container or not so by default i am passing this particular name now i'll go to the pipeline if the employee1.csv file is not exist so it will keep on executing so whatever the output we will get right so in a get metadata you can see this is the data set you have mentioned bottom you can see field list in the field list you will be having one option exist so with the help of the exist you will check whether the particular uh, file is available into the storage account or not so exist will give a true or false value if it is a true means the file is exist if it is a false means false uh, the file is not exist now what i will do this particular whatever the output we will get from a get metadata i will pass into the if condition so i'll use a if condition activity click on the if condition activity add dynamic content get metadata exists right use that and convert into the boolean so what actually whatever the output we will get from the get metadata whether the file is exist or not so this will give me true and the false value so if it is become true then what is the condition you want to use if it is a uh, true then i want to update my uh, variable whatever the default value was false right i want to update as a true so i'll use a file exists this value i will make it as a true so that is the condition i have mentioned i'll go back go back to until activity so if it is a uh, true then set variable i am updating if it is a false so i am updating set variable as a false only so i'll click on the set variable if the file is not exist then it will become a false only so what i have done till now let's try to understand so i have created one variable file exists and the by default i am passing the file is not exist means value is false i am using until activity this until activity will keep on running until this particular condition is satisfied whatever the variable we have created right and by default it is a false by default value is false so until this value become a true my pipeline will keep on executing so what actually i am checking i am first checking whether my file is available into the storage account or not that is my use case so i am using a get metadata activity and i am using a exist condition so exist will tell me like whether the file is exist or not if the value is true then i am passing into the if condition so here whatever the output of the get metadata we are getting right that value we are passing and if it is a true then the whatever the variable right that we are updating as a true if it is false then it will become a false so until this value become a true my pipeline will keep on executing that is the use case of the until activity let me debug and let me show you as of now no file is available means my pipeline should keep on executing for the 2 minutes let's see you can see get metadata one output is false because no file is available as of now right if it is it is false but the my until activity is a keep on running you can see here you can see my pipeline is keep on running for the longer time it will run for the 2 minute because file is not available as of now and it is a keep on running and it is trying to execute the get metadata set variable if condition so this are this pipeline is keep keep on running because as of now no file is available so let's wait when actually it will get stop because we have mentioned the time period of the 2 minutes so it will keep on running for the 2 minutes and and after that it will get stop so as of now what i will do i will just manually cancel it and after that what i will do in input container i will try to upload one file employee1.csv file let's try to import this particular file i am importing uploading now go to the data factory now let's try to debug in this case my value will become true and uh, the pipeline will exist on that time only you can see it is succeed get metadata one it is a true 
if condition set variable it value become true right after that it will be executed successfully when it was not true then it was keep on executing because we are using until activity so that is the use case try to do a practical and try to practice two to three time because we are using a multiple service here right get meta if condition until activity and all so try to do a practice and try to revise this